like I said, there's a growing number of voices that just come back up doing the same thing that they was doing. And it seems like the number's even higher. And um, do it ever cross your mind that the ways or similar ways that they silence them voices that the same thing that can happen will start happening there like be like a resurgence of that or something like that it's going or, to. or that they manage to find different ways to do this to accomplish the same means it's going to happen this is why i do what i do for a living this is why i sell products to my community this is why you're going to have a benefactor for survival in life right Somebody, you're going to do business with somebody. You're going to have some way of generating the income or providing the money, right? For yourself, right? right? If you can't speak against people, if they're your source of income, right? In private, maybe, but not in public. Right? right. So I want to speak up for me and my people. This is why I sell products to my people. Morning, NBA star Kyrie Irving benched in the wake of tweeting about an anti-Semitic film. The Brooklyn Nets suspending Irving for at least five games without pay after he refused to apologize for posting a link to a documentary that denies the Holocaust. Those falsehoods are unfortunate, and it's not that I don't believe in the Holocaust. I never said that. Irving deleted the tweet last week, but continued to defend his actions. I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. He's also resisted demands to unequivocally denounce anti-Semitism. For the record, do you have any anti-Semitic beliefs? I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. Late what? But thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not but are the synagogue of Satan. With that in mind, we cannot assume a person is a Jew just because they say they are. We need to prove it. And to do that, we need to use the Bible with DNA to find the truth. For example, the Bible tells us the 12 tribes of Israel shared a single forefather called Jacob, or Jacob, renamed Israel. The Bible also tells us that the children of Israel had four emas, or four mothers, Zilpah, Leah, Rachel, and Bilhah. In other words, the 12 tribes of Israel was made up of one father and four mothers. With that in mind, we can use DNA to see if the Negro has one forefather and four mothers. Now, DNA does indeed reveal that the Negro does share a single DNA forefather called E1B1A by Genesis. DNA also reveals that the so-called Negro shares four DNA mothers referred to as L3, L2, L1, and L0 as well. Here we see the Negro's DNA matches the Bible perfectly. The Ashkenazi Jews, on the other hand, do not share a single forefather, nor do they share four DNA mothers. This further proves that the Negro are the true Jews. And yes, I'm from. Late Wednesday, he and the Nets announced they would each donate $500,000 to anti-hate groups. But late yesterday, after once again refusing to apologize, the team finally had enough, saying Irving is unfit to be associated with the Brooklyn Nets. The Anti-Defamation League also speaking out, saying it will refuse Irving's $500,000 donation, tweeting, Kyrie Irving has been given ample opportunity to do the right thing, apologize and condemn anti Anti-Semitism. He has failed at almost every step along the way. The suspension is well deserved. Then overnight, Irving backing down and apologizing, saying, I initially reacted out of emotion to being unjustly labeled anti-Semitic instead of focusing on the healing process of my Jewish brothers and sisters that were hurt from the hateful remarks made in the documentary. You guys that are investing in the arts. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to invest in this school in Brazil. Y'all want to go to Africa. I'm standing up and I'm telling you I am Warhol. 
I am the number one most impactful artist of our generation. I am Shakespeare in the flesh. Walt Disney, mm. Nike, Google. Now, who's going to be the Medici family and stand up and let me create more? Or do you want to marginalize me till I'm out of my moment? Or why don't you empower yourself and don't hmm. need them and do it yourself? How, fact, Tway? You take a few steps back. You ain't got the answers, man. You ain't got sneakers that really got me into sneaker collecting was that pair of Red October Yeezys. He articulated something in those sneakers that really resonated with me without saying a word of me not knowing anything about them. That sneaker was the spark that cascaded the entire rest of everything you see here over the past uh, three plus years. In Yeezy's first eight years or so, hype around the shoe was at its strongest. Yeezy started as a partnership with Nike in 2009, before West switched to working with Adidas in 2013. During the Nike years, and in the first few years of his partnership with Adidas, customers went to great lengths to get their hands on a pair. Any website you go to, Yeezys would probably sell out in under like five seconds. I've seen people camp for Yeezys in the dead cold winter. I've seen people like have like their little tents or whatever, um, or just bundled up in a lot of jackets or something. Caleb Chen is one of many sneaker flippers cashing in on the Yeezys hype. I bought the Bread V2 uh, for about $220, and I've sold it for about eleven dollars to $1,200. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Adidas is ending its partnership with Kanye West. Earlier this year, uh, his uh, net worth was actually at $2 billion, so it's grown twice as much over the past two years. Um, but unfortunately, now that Adidas has cut ties with him, um, that cut $1.5 billion out of his net worth. And so that means he's now worth around $400 million. Okay, so book people. This is why I sell products to my people, right? So they might do, they can try to silence me through various forms on the internet and stuff like that, right? But... What I'm doing is building the foundation, right? This foundation is not just a podcast, it's interactive. I intend to grow what I'm doing to others to generate wealth, right? I intend to take the ideas that I talk about on here with a small group locally and implement them, right? So that we can so that, so, so that it could be duplicated. Because I think... So when I say the grind requires a lot of investment in yourself, reinvestment in yourself, this is what I mean. Meaning most black businesses start off underfunded, set up to fail, from inception. All of those voices realize there, there must be a relearning and a reawakening process because we still, we still suffer individually and collectively. And now the suffering, though it takes many forms, it still starts in the mind. They said they, they, they got rid of the physical shackles and then they put the mental shackles on us. Do you believe that that's still the case to this day? Exactly. Listen, uh, I heard a woman when I was fucked up, she told another man, she told her brother, uh, well, they can't be lazy. You can't, you're being lazy. I said, hold on. And this is the part with us not been having our own meeting, right? And we start to reproject what other people say to us. We allow people who went, said, I went to another country, kidnapped you, forced you over here to labor for me. I will, and went to war and died to force you to do their work. Can now label you some concepts right there. That alone, when I hear us repeat that, echo that, and you go to any factory and it's blacks on the floor and the white guy come out and be the manager, or you go and you notice that the white guys are the police officers that does nothing, sit on their butt all day and they shake like blobs, and you not paying attention to this, you not paying attention to the jobs they fight for or the jobs that they can sit around the most on. 
you, you, you're not paying attention to this. And why do you think our people don't pay attention to that? <clears throat> You've been programmed, conditioned to believe that you're supposed to labor for somebody else. You've been you've been taught that you've been programmed that you went to school and was trained to do that. And so you're getting off program. Your your life is not for your life. This, black people don't believe black people have a right to be free. You have to understand they was locking your children up for selling weed, which has no death rate. No death rate. Now they're legally selling it. It's majority white dispensaries, and you have no issue of how they were separating your families from this. You have no issue with that, that the same gas station they was locking your kids up from selling weed out of is now selling weed inside. Uh, you have no issue with this right. economic castration that happened to your children. You have no issue with the fact that you have a world that shows wealth to your children, to everybody else, and tell your kids not to touch. Wow. America is a museum for black people. Look, but don't touch. And you expect your kids to just accept that. You expect them to look at this grandiose life on television constantly and not to want a peace. And you have no options or nothing to give them. That's deep. That's real deep. Yeah, that's really deep. So <clears throat> it is important in your view, in your belief, that we as a people individually and collectively should we educate ourselves on some of the ways of how to unburden ourselves from the mental shackles that continue to bind us individually and collectively and our, and bind us to these individual as well as collective sufferings. I think we, I think we need to, I think we need to re digify our own communities. I signed at the wrong place. So I'm going to redo that Monday, but they saying I cannot sell laundry detergent. So you have that piece. Right. That saves our people money. So when I, we talk about old police in our community, this is what we talking about. This is what we talking about. We in the health pandemic. We got a problem. 14 million, what, 10 million African Americans out of unemployed. The state giving out Corona checks and they trying to force me into homelessness. And unemployment. Cause I want my ultimate bit to see this now. I'm going through this with the police constantly about selling laundry detergent. Now I done filled out the forms. They haven't get they haven't gave me my permit. I done paid for it. The police saying they can't overlook me selling laundry detergent. Without the piece of paper. Even though I showed them a picture that I filed, filled out the form, sent the money in, and I filled out money order and sent it in to the state, and the state not answering the phone because of Corona, the, the city, I mean, the city. I know it's the city of Walking. 